Have you ever wanted a glimpse into the future? That's the power I discovered in the book Imaginable by Jane Mangonigal. It's like having a secret code to navigate life's surprises and challenges. In a nutshell, this book upgrades your mindset. It puts you one step ahead, ready for the unthinkable and able to imagine the unimaginable. And it is like getting the cheat codes to the game of life. In this video, I'm not just going to share the key insights from this book, but also show you how to apply these ideas in your own life. So buckle up as we explore mental time travel and other futuristic superpowers. Hello there! I'm Maya, a Silicon Valley mom of two, a former data analyst and now an aspiring futurist, all thanks to my love for good non-fiction books. About a year ago, I came across a book that did much more than occupy my evenings. This book not only lit up a path, but also gave me a new purpose and transformed the way I see my future. The game changer I'm talking about is Imaginable – How to See the Future Coming and Feel Ready for Anything by Jane McGonigal. Let me paint the scene for you. Here I was in Silicon Valley amidst the world's greatest tech innovations, but I felt like a spectator on the sidelines. I was on a career break, busy raising my two wonderful kids. At some point I felt stuck. I began questioning my self-identity, my life goals and career aspirations. Then. Imaginable made its grand entrance into my life. It didn't just suggest a new career as a futurist, but inspired me to think creatively and proactively about my future. It encouraged me to explore new paths instead of settling for what was comfortable. This book did more than just kickstart my career. It reshaped how I see the world. It challenged me to stretch my imagination, to embrace uncertainties, and to develop a sense of agency to influence the future. And that was the real game changer. So what's in it for you? In this video, we will dive into the essential takeaways from Imaginable and explore how you can use these insights to enrich your life. Whether you want to find new purpose, navigate change with more confidence, or simply broaden your perspective, I will share why and how you should implement these concepts in your life. What's the first takeaway? It's about thinking like a futurist. But what does that mean exactly and how do you do it? In the first part of the book, the author introduces us to the engaging world of futurists. And surprisingly, it's filled with games, especially social ones. It's like stepping onto a playground, but one that exists within your mind. And the game becomes even more thrilling when you're envisioning the future together with others. So why do we need to play these mind games? They help us train our brains to think beyond past experiences and equip us to anticipate and adapt to an unpredictable future. But it doesn't stop there. What's fascinating is that these future thinking exercises don't just shape our thoughts, they impact our emotional state too. The book presents scientific studies that show how future thinking can help reduce anxiety, depression, and enhance hope and money motivation for the future. Now, let's get practical. Let's practice one of these mind-expanding exercises – mental time travel. And no, we don't need a DeLorean for this. No riding under a lighting bolt. Mental time travel is a journey into your future in your mind's eye. Picture yourself waking up 10 years from now. Think about where you are and who might be with you. What is around you? 10 years from today. What do you see when you wake up? Is it light out or still dark? What can you hear, smell and feel around you? What wakes you up? Is it an alarm, the sunlight, someone nudging or calling you? Is there anyone with you? What are you wearing? What kind of mood are you in? And what's the very first thing you do now that you're awake? What do you have planned for today? How are you 
physically different in this future. While engaging in this exercise, try to stay grounded in what's realistic and feasible for you. If it's too challenging to come up with all the details, you may try writing them down so you don't need to hold all the information in your mind. I know, it sounds like a lot of work, and it is a lot of work actually. And yes, this takes mental effort. Your brain needs to make intentional choices about this future scenario. This effort is precisely what makes this form of imagination so powerful. Instead of simply remembering what it already knows, your brain has to invent a new possibility. This mental exercise helps you create new pathways in your brain. It's like creating a memory of the future something that hasn't happened yet. Scientists call this form of imagination episodic future thinking, or EFT. It's our mental ability to project ourselves forward in time and pre-experience a future event. Jane McGonigal dedicates an entire chapter explaining the science behind EFT and how it can better equip us to anticipate and adapt to changes in the future. And that's how you make something that was previously unimaginable to your brain imaginable now. Hence the name of the book, you guessed it. The beauty of this process is that the more you engage in it, the easier it becomes. The next time you try to think about this possible future, which you just imagined with so much mental effort, the next time it comes easily to you. You're essentially using this new memory of the future to plan and prepare for the future much more effectively. So, our first key takeaway – think like a futurist. It's about teaching your brain to imagine the unimaginable, to prepare for the future and to cultivate emotional resilience. And now that we've got our minds warmed up with the first insight, let's take it up a notch. Ready for another mind-bending concept from imaginable? Let's dive into scenario simulations. In the next parts of the book, Jane McGonagall is showing us how to supercharge our mental time travel. Think of it like mental time travel on steroids. Imagine not just your personal life 10 years from now, but waking up in a world that's dramatically different. That's the power of scenario simulations. Maybe an asteroid is on a potential collision course with your city, according to the UN Office for Outer Space Affairs, and you have three years to prepare. Or your country is under a national cyber emergency, and the internet and all cellular services will be shut down for at least 14 days. Or perhaps you're a part of a billion people on a new social network. Feel that. Sharing emotions online, using non-invasive devices that stimulate mood control regions in the brain. Now, remember, these scenarios aren't wild guesses or doomsday prophecies. They are imaginative exercises grounded in real-world facts and possibilities. It's not forecasting, but preparing ourselves for a variety of potential futures. The future scenarios crafted in imaginable are so compelling and thought-provoking, they alone could convince you to pick up this book. By the way, it includes a separate index for all games scenarios and simulations. If you're interested in a deeper dive into some of these scenarios, drop a comment below. We could explore them together in a separate video. But here is what struck me the most. This book isn't just a roadmap for anticipating the future. It's a toolbox for actively shaping the future we want. It gives you the tools to leverage this period of disruption and reinvention. It helps you identify your unique contribution to a better future so that you can start acting today. This idea that we are not just bystanders to the future, but active participants in its creation resonated deeply with me. It was truly a game-changer for me. Raised in a culture of fatalism, I grew up feeling insignificant, as if the future was something preordained, something I could not influence. Why bother doing anything if it's beyond your influence? But here is the profound realization I had. We are not just passive observers waiting for the future to unfold. We are the creators, the active participants shaping our own future. The future isn't just happening to us. 
We are happening to it too. My mental time travel exercise, envisioning myself 10 years from now, was the catalyst that prompted a significant shift in my career aspirations. I no longer saw myself in a corporate data analyst role. Instead, I saw myself contributing to an educational or non-profit organization spreading the word about foresight and futures thinking. I want to popularize these concepts among the younger generation. I want to bring strategic foresight from large corporations and governments to individual entrepreneurs and everyday people. And that was the turning point that inspired me to start this YouTube channel. I felt an irresistible urge to promote the concept of futures thinking. Because why so few people use its benefits? It perplexes me why foresight practices are limited to only large corporations and governmental institutions. Okay, that should probably be a topic for another video. I'm just at the beginning of my path as a YouTuber and as a futurist, and I ask you to help me to move faster. If this content resonates with you, please help me reach more people by sharing this video, leaving a comment and hitting the like button. Each interaction sends a signal to the YouTube algorithm that this content is valuable and worth showing to more people. Let's inspire more people to kickstart a wave of positive long-term change. The future is not just something to anticipate, it's something we can create. Relax.